Hi, I'm JR, an American Bohemian and a huge enthusiast of art. Here we are at the Austin Art District Annual Open Studios. Let's go inside and check it out. I'm with BJ Comerford, the coordinator of the Austin Art District Open Studios. How are you doing today, BJ? I'm pretty good. How are you? Very, very good. So uh, how long ago did this start? Uh, we've been participating in open studios for 26 years. We were one of the first studios in Boston to participate in open studios. And so we're celebrating 26 long years. Awesome. So tell everybody where it's located. We are in Austin, um, mostly on Braintree Street and Penniman Street and Harvard Street this year. Uh, we have four different locations. We have 42 artists participating, and we are open from 12 to 6 on Saturday and Sunday, the second weekend in November every year. I'm with a very unique sculptor, Gintz Grinberg. All right. So, what do you like to do? Well, I like to make stuff out of old junk. Can openers, screwdrivers, uh, stainless steel, whatever I can get my hands on. Right on, very cool. So what kind of got you into all this? Well, I just started, uh, took a welding class in high school and uh, I thought I'd have an easy, easy uh, last class of the day and I uh, got hooked. I just started making stuff and been doing it ever since. What is your favorite piece? Well, right now I'm working on these uh, giant dandelions and uh, sunflowers, recycled uh, stainless steel parts from uh, scrap yards and fabricators and kind of, you know, trying to find some beauty in all that junk we're throwing away every day. So here we are with one of my favorite neighborhood artists, Angelo Aversa. Angelo, tell us a little bit about this painting. This was actually the first in a series of paintings that I did that year uh, in Alston, Brighton from Oak Square to Packard's Corner. And I started with this because it was local, it was convenient, it was close by, I could walk to the location to paint, and uh, it, was, it got me back and reacclimated, re reacclimated to painting outdoors, which is plain air painting, the French term for painting outside. This is actually one of my favorites because I actually know where this is and I pass yeah. this a lot, so that's why I... Yeah. I love it so much. All right, let's go check out another one of yours. So, Angelo, yes. what is your favorite painting of yours here today? Um, this one right here, it's the, the Elliott Bridge, the Sunny Side. Elliott Bridge, Sunny Side is the title of this painting. I did this about, um, what was this, in the spring, I painted this on location. Right next to the bridge, the Elliott Bridge goes to the Mount Auburn Hospital in Cambridge, and this is the Alston side of the, the Charles River Reservation. At between 9 a.m. and I think about 11 was the period that I, I think it took me four days to complete it. Because it was easy and it was fun, it was fun that way. Cool. Very cool. It's just an oil painting on canvas. It's just documenting Braintree Street, the building, uh, the housing here on Hano Street where I live and this, these, other, these other businesses in the area. I finished about a month ago and the title is 119 Braintree Street because of this, the entrance to our building here for the arts. Uh, the Alston Arts Open Studios, and we're up here on the, the sixth floor. Uh, I live right here in this building on the first floor, and I've, I've been living here for 35 years. So, BJ, how would someone get a hold of you? If someone is interested in participating or coming to one of our open studios, you can go up on the web at alstonarts.org, and there's a listing of all the artists who participate in open studios and their locations. And there are also each individual artist and where you can locate that artist if you're interested in their work. BJ, I want to thank you for letting us come here today and do this. It's okay. been really, really fun. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate it.